horrific story, but one that is uh, becoming way too common. We got word yesterday from the, the Kurdish regional government that ISIS militants had seized the town of Kocho, which is 20 kilometres south of Sinjar, where 400,000 people fled uh, those ISIS militants. This particular village, they moved in, they executed 80 men. That is what we're hearing from one survivor who managed to get away and uh, contact uh, the uh, senior Yazidis who are here in Kurdistan. He also said that a hundred women, a hundred women were taken to northern Iraq, which is uh, parts of it that are now controlled uh, by these ISIS militants. And he said they are being taken away to be sex slaves and to be sold. So, uh, Christy, this is a story that we're hearing much, much more of as, as they continue to take over these towns and villages. They are dividing and conquering horrific story but one that is uh, becoming way too common we got word yesterday from the the kurdish regional government that isis militants had seized the town of kocho which is 20 kilometers south of sinjar where 400 people fled uh, those isis militants this particular village they moved in they executed 80 men that is what we're hearing from one survivor who managed to get away and uh, contact uh, the uh, senior Yazidis who are here in Kurdistan. He also said that a hundred women, a hundred women were taken to northern Iraq, which is uh, parts of it that are now controlled uh, by these ISIS militants. And he said they are being taken away to be sex slaves and to be sold. So, uh, Christy, this is a story that we're hearing much, much more of as, as they continue to take over these towns and villages. They are dividing and 